There are many people who would like to open a coffee shop, and for goodness sake, why not? Visions of walking into your store to pick up your daily bag of money, the barista smiling as he makes coffee, the smell of fresh roast greeting you, as throngs of happy customers sit, work, and socialize only after paying ridiculous sums of money for your product. Coffee must be a surefire way to fill your pockets with money, am I right? Well, hold on to your horses, aspiring entrepreneurs. We're going to take a critical look at opening a coffee shop today on Franchise City. Coffee, it's another business that carries a lot of emotional momentum. It's kind of the go-to retirement business or a business representing the opposite of the rat race. And many executives that we work with will see the appeal of a coffee shop in that at first glance, the ownership lifestyle seems to be very laid back. There's no board meetings, there's no fighting traffic, there's no stress, and there's no pressure, or so they think. So let's get that common misperception out of the way first. Owning a coffee shop is operationally no different from most service-based food businesses. You're going to be dealing with employee theft, spoilage, sourcing issues, high attrition levels, and ongoing difficulty and challenges in finding quality employees at reasonable hourly rates. It's not rare to see new owners having to put in 80-hour work weeks to try and make things happen with their business. Now, if you think there's no pressure running a coffee shop, try a vision of payroll being due tomorrow, as well as your rent being due. You're once again almost $3,000 in the red with no way of paying. Now your best-selling coffee roast is on back order. Your manager just quit. The washroom is plugged again, and you just got four bad reviews on Yelp because your washroom is plugged again. These are real challenges that an owner will have to face, and it's certainly worth at least thinking about before jumping in. Now in the coffee business, you're also going to be at the mercy of very passionate customer sentiment. This industry has some very fickle and demanding customers who expect you to be better than their last shop. You will be very hard hit if any of your employees give bad service or if your coffee is not up to these very high standards of the local coffee drinkers. Now, if you receive enough bad online reviews when you first open, it can literally turn your coffee shop into a ghost town. Social media has a massive impact on buyer decisions these days, and you have to ask yourself, are you, as a new entrepreneur, savvy enough to understand how to train your staff in giving great customer service? Because great customer service isn't something that just happens. Are you able to source coffee and to have it prepared in such a manner that it just blows your customers away? Can you continue to source this great coffee at rates low enough that you're gonna be able to make money. And here's the problem with most prospective coffee shop investors. They have no idea about coffee. They have no idea about customer service. They just saw a local coffee shop in their area is very often busy. And they see this as a quick way to make some money. Now, if money is your primary focus and you have no previous skills in food service or customer service, this can actually be a very challenging business to operate despite the glorious visions that you might have in your mind. Now, even if you do happen to have a handle on good coffee and have a good handle on running a business and hiring and managing employees, the industry itself right now is still very tough. In fact, Starbucks, arguably the most successful coffee brand in the world, they're going to be closing 150 stores this year. Now, that's three times as many as it usually closes. And did you hear that? three times more than it usually closes. So this is an ongoing, regular event with Starbucks, closing stores, not opening stores. But hey, you're smarter than Starbucks, right? You've got a better model, better idea, better coffee, trendier vibe, neat idea, drive through model, whatever. But keep in mind, so did the hundreds of people with big coffee shop dreams who ended up having to close their doors. Now, if we do a quick search for coffee shop closed, we'll reveal hundreds of these results, local shops all over the country, closing their doors for various reasons, mostly monetary. This owner was quoted as saying, the business has not made itself sustainable yet, and it's been almost three years. It's been a drain on family, 
Time to put my dreams on hold. Now, can you imagine struggling for three years only to have to close the doors of your business? Prospective investors should take time to click through some of these stories. Most of these independent shops were trendy, they were cool, they had solid reviews, everything was in place, and yet they still had to shut the doors. Some of them had been open for up to 30 years. Now, if we do a search over at Biz Buy Sell, which is a listing website for selling businesses, we see there are almost 1,200 coffee shops and cafes for sale. Now, are they selling because they're making too much money? Let's take a look. We see locations here for sale at 15,000, 19,000, 20,000 with seller financing, fire sale, drive through coffee shops. Let's take a look at this one in particular, Hip Organic Restaurant and Coffee Bar. Now, most people think if you make your place look amazing, the service is good with good food and good coffee, that is all that it takes. But look at how inviting and upscale this particular location is. They've got great reviews, they've got a very cool looking spot in a good location, and they are selling their business. And the list goes on and on of people who made a decision to buy these coffee shops and they ultimately regretted. And it's not just small independents. Second Cup, a very established coffee chain started in 1975 in Canada, is also closing stores. Not only that, the company has plans to repurpose 130 existing coffee shops in prime locations into distributors of a recently legalized substance. Now, any ideas why a huge company would change over from selling coffee to selling weed? Hint, they are not doing it because they are making too much money selling coffee. And then we have Tim Hortons, arguably the most successful Canadian coffee shop. They've had owners recently hit with a $250,000 annual reduction in earnings just due to the minimum wage increases. Tim Hortons is also seemingly struggling with their rollout and expansion into the U.S. market, and even they are having to close stores. So let's sum up six reasons you may want to consider this coffee shop dream. Number one, highly competitive, and your competition is going to range from the unending reservoir of people just like you with glorious visions of opening an indie shop right up to the major chains and franchises. They're all your competition. And number two is market saturation. Let's face it, the market has hit a peak and stores everywhere are now closing. Even the big chains have been in store shuttering mode for several years now. Unless you have a major differentiator of some sort, it's tough not to be just another coffee shop that is losing money. Number three is a highly fickle customer base. One wrong move from your staff, one bad cup of coffee, or one stale sandwich can send a cascade of negative publicity throughout the internets. Now, while other brick and mortar businesses are also susceptible to that, people are extra emotional when it comes to their cup of morning coffee. Now, conversely, if you do really shine at what you do, this can also work in your favor. Now, one, number four is economic pressures. If you're positioned in a market that is currently paying $11 for a cup of coffee, is that market going to exist in sufficient amounts when the economy finally slows down, as many people think it is going to do? Number five is these store closures. Look around you. Big chains, small indie shops all over the nation are closing their doors despite having the best intentions. And number six is lifestyle. Those visions that you have of leisurely strolling into the shop to chat with customers and pick up your bag of money are just not realistic. Try more likely frantically working 80 hours a week just hoping you can make your payroll and your rent. Now, have people made money with coffee shops? Of course they have. And is it possible to open a successful coffee shop. Of course it is. However, unless you have a solid handle on the hiring, the training, the sourcing coffee, managing these reviews and all the other elements, it can be an extremely challenging business. Now, investing in a coffee franchise is a potential solution as they'll have a proven roadmap to follow. However, market conditions 
will still be a concern. Now, there are many businesses and franchise options out there, not just coffee. Don't let your emotions or misperceptions guide you. And as always, do your research in a critical fashion. If you're considering the franchise route and need help finding a franchise, give the experts a call at Franchise City. Our services are free to qualified buyers. You can learn more about us up here by clicking that link. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell for updates. And thank you very much for watching.